Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's South High Community School. <laughs> Taking on Newton North High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. The new Drive with Safety mobile app was designed with your teen driver's safety in mind. The Drive with Safety app helps monitor and reduce distracted driving behaviors. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in November. Over a hundred high school teams all over Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. And today's matchup has Newton North High School taking on South High Community School from Worcester. And on the Newton North team, we have Jacob Rose. Max and Eli with alternates on the sideline, Spencer and Martin and the coaches, Albert Cho and Gregory Drake. <laughs> and on the South High team, we have Sam, Jessica, Galen and Jacob with alternates on the sidelines, Maxi and Julio and the coaches, Kayla Abellino and Kitrin Farrell. <laughs> the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We will begin with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So players, teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. In 1927, after manufacturing its 15 millionth car, uh, what company halted production of the Model T and introduced the Model A? Yes, Rose. Ford. Yes. Uh, what designated hitter for the Boston Red Sox hit 38 home runs in 2016, the final season of his career? Max. David Ortiz. Yes, what U.S. state is home to the Everglades, the largest remaining subtropical wilderness in America? Yes, Rose. Florida. Yes. In 2017, what British prime minister surprised the nation by calling a snap general election a gamble that backfired and ended in a hung parliament? Yes, Rose. Theresa May. Yes. Take a look at your screens. Three-time U.S. presidential candidate William Jennings Bryan, pictured here, is best known for what 1896 speech that called for unlimited coinage of silver to help farmers and debtors? Yes, Jacob. Cross of gold. Yes. What ancient Greek mathematician and inventor discovered the physical law of buoyancy? Yes, Jacob. Archimedes? Yes, that's correct. In 2017, the world's first Dr. Seuss Museum opened in what city in western Massachusetts? Yes, Jacob. Springfield? Yes. Name the only man to win three Academy Awards for Best Actor for Lincoln, There Will Be Blood, and My Left Foot. Yes, Jessica. Daniel Day-Lewis. Yes. Uh, she was warned. She was given an explanation. Nevertheless, she persisted. What Senate Majority Leader said this in 2017 when trying to silence Elizabeth Warren on the Senate floor? Yes, Eli. Mitch McConnell. Yes. Uh, the next question will be coming up on your screen. Hi, I'm Ernie Bach Jr. and here's my question. In 1885, what German engineer built the first practical motor car with an internal combustion engine? Yes, Jacob. Benz. Carl Benz, yes. With a diameter of about 590 miles, what object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter was the first dwarf planet to be discovered? 
Yes, Max. Series. Yes, in 2017, the U.S. Supreme Court rejected an appeal from the family on the reality TV show Sister Wives challenging a ban on polygamy in what U.S. state? Max. Utah. Yes. Uh, what famous city of antiquity was the capital of southern Mesopotamia during the reign of Hammurabi? Max. Babylon. Yes. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, which of the following is the leading cause of injury-related death in America? Is it A, car accidents, B, gun violence, or C, drug overdoses? Yes, Sam. Drug overdoses. Correct. Math question. In terms of pi, what is the area of a circle with a radius of seven? Yes, Jacob. Uh, 49 pi. Yes. In his novel, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian, what author drew on his experience of leaving his reservation to attend an all-white high school? Yes, Rose. Sherman Alexie. Yes. Uh, three American presidents, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and James Monroe, all died on what holiday? Yes, Max. The Fourth of July. Yes. Uh, the Pilgrims landed in Cape Cod in 1620, but they originally intended to settle near the Hudson River in what present-day U.S. state? Jessica. New York. Yes. Using a microscope in 1665, what English scientist discovered and named the first cell? Yes, Jacob. Hook. Yes, Robert Hook. In some parts of the United States, there is a growing movement to abolish what October holiday and replace it with Indigenous Peoples Day? Max. Columbus Day. Yes. And which of the following was the first woman in space? Was it A, Sally Ride, B, Valentina Tereshkova, or C, Mae Jemison? Yes, Jessica. Sally Ride. No. Newton North, you want to try it? Uh, Max? B. B. Valentina Tereshkova is correct. Death Comes to Pemberley by mystery author P.D. James is a sequel to a timeless classic by Jane Austen. Sam. Wuthering Heights. No, Newton North, you want to try it? Eli. Pride and Prejudice. Yes. Over 200 pyramids, more than twice that of Egypt, are found in what African country with the capital city of Khartoum? Yes, Jacob. Sudan. Yes. Worth an estimated $242 million, soccer star Neymar was recently ranked as the world's most valuable player, and he plays for what national team? Yes, Sam. Brazil. Brazil is right. Math question. An equilateral triangle has how many lines of reflectional symmetry? Yes, Jacob. Three. Three is right. Defined as levying war against the United States or giving aid or comfort to an enemy, what is the only crime specifically defined in the Constitution under Article 3, Section 3? Yes, uh, Eli. Treason. Yes. In July 2017, what foreign country tested an intercontinental ballistic missile that could theoretically hit New York or Washington, D.C.? Eli. North Korea. Yes. In 1959, during a visit to Moscow, Vice President Richard Nixon engaged in a famous kitchen debate over capitalism and communism with what Soviet leader? Yes, Max. Khrushchev. Correct. Uh, when gold was discovered on the Lakota lands in 1874, what U.S. president launched an illegal war against the Plains Indians? Yes, Eli. Grant. Yes, Ulysses Grant. Uh, over 10 miles long, the Vasco da Gama Bridge spans the Tagus River in what capital city of Portugal? Max? Lisbon. Yes. In zoology, what class of arthropods include spiders, daddy long legs, and scorpions? Yes, Jacob. Arachnids? Yes. In what ocean would you find the Solomon Islands, a sovereign country consisting of six major islands? Eli. The Indian Ocean. No, South High? Jacob. The Pacific Ocean. Yes. In 1567, Mary, Queen of Scots, was forced to abdicate by Scottish nobles in favor of her infant son. What was his first name? Yes, Max. James. James is right. In 1990, what newly launched $1.5 billion space telescope was discovered to have a faulty primary mirror, resulting in blurry images? Jacob. Hubble. Yes. Joseph Stalin became the undisputed leader of the Soviet Union upon the expulsion of what Communist Party rival in 1927? 
Max. Trotsky. Yes. What American author? Ah, there's the bell ending the round. The score right now, Newton North High School, 250 points. South High Community School, a total of 100 points. Let's hear it, folks. <laughs> All right, the head-to-head -head round is next. But first, we're going to take a little break, as we do here on the High School Quiz Show. And teams, I'm going to ask a question. You will each have a chance to answer. And we're going to start with uh, Newton North and you, Jacob. And here's the question. What is the most useful thing you've learned in school to date and why? Uh, my English teacher this year taught us to always acknowledge complexity, um, which I think is a uh, pretty useful piece of advice. Yeah, I think that was the same thing for me when I was in school. Although, uh, Rose? I think I've learned how to cooperate in groups really well, and it's helped in projects. OK, well, it got you here uh, to High School Quiz Show. How about you, Max? I think I've learned that you've always like, have to leave time for fun and free time with your friends. So. OK, Eli? I've learned that nothing is better than nine hours of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll slide over to South High. Sam, what do you think? Writing. It's just because you get your ideas across in a more easy and understandable way than if you were just to speak. OK, and how about you, Jessica? Um, I learned not to procrastinate, although I kind of break that rule a lot. <laughs> uh, well, Galen? I'm a musician, so reading music has been really useful, and I learned that in school and middle school. Mm -hmm. uh, Jacob? So I think the most useful thing that I've learned was learning how to read uh, because it allowed me to learn lots of other things through the use of that technique. All right, well, congratulations to all of you for being here at High School Quiz Show. We're going to go head to head now, and the way that works on High School Quiz Show is all of you are going to come forward, and you're all going to go head to head. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're about to go head to head. I've got South High to my left, Newton North High School to my right. Why don't you guys shake hands and we'll get started. As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck, teams, and here we go. In 1927, who flew from New York to Paris? Yes. Lindbergh. Yes. In computer science, what does the term AI stand for? Yes. Artificial intelligence. Yes. In 2017, Katy Perry became the first person to reach 100 million followers. On what social media? Yes. Twitter. Yes. In genetics, what does the A stand for in DNA? Adenine. I'm sorry? Adenine. No, acid. Uh, what Shakespeare play includes two bumbling courtiers named Rosencrantz and Guildenstern? Hamlet. In 2016, what became the first U.S. state on the East Coast to legalize recreational marijuana? Yes. Massachusetts? Yes. What Category 5 hurricane devastated New Orleans in August of 2005? Yes. Katrina. Yes. Montego Bay is a major city of what? A Caribbean nation. Yes. Jamaica. Yes. In Norse mythology, uh, what cunning trickster could change his gender and his shape? Loki. Yes. In the metric system, what is the base unit of volume? Yes. Height? No, the liter. Uh, what English explorer traded slaves was a privateer and led the defeat of the Spanish Armada? Yes. Drake. Yes. What 19th century poet is known as the Belle of Amherst? Emily Dickinson. Uh, what U.S. president gave a speech called the Crisis of Confidence in 1979? Jimmy Carter was the answer right there. That ends the head-to-head -head round. Uh, the score right now, Newton North High School, 290 points. South High School, 120 points. Give it up for both teams. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. Flame test, Captain's Courageous, Domo Arigato, Flying Colors, Winter is Coming, and Vice Squad. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point value. Players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you can no longer confer. We will need your answer. Now, South High, you've got a little ground to make up, but you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? 
Uh, we'll go with domo arigato. Domo arigato. Questions about Japanese words and phrases. And for 10 points, with their song, Mr. Roboto, the band Sticks popularized the phrase domo arigato. It means which of the following? A, see you later. B, thanks a lot. Or C, how are you? Yes, Max. B, thanks a lot. That's correct. You've got the board. Newton North category. Um, let's go with flame test. All right. Flame test. Questions? about chemistry for 10 points. Organic chemistry is the study of the compounds that make up living organisms. All organic molecules contain hydrogen and what other element? Uh, Sam. Carbon. Carbon is right. And now South High, you've got the board. Category? We're going to stick with flame test. Flame test for 15. What Russian chemist is credited with inventing the modern periodic table of elements? Yes, Jacob. Mendeleev. Yes, and now you've got the board, Newton North. Category? Let's continue with flame test. Flame test for 20. Which of the following is the most abundant protein of the human body? Is it A, collagen, B, keratin, or C, actin? Yes, Rose. Collagen. Collagen is correct. You've still got the board, Newton North. Category? Let's continue with flame test. 25 points. The most common bond in organic molecules involves the sharing of electrons between two atoms. What is the name of this type of chemical bond? Yes, Eli. Covalent. Yes, and you've still got the board, Newton North. Let's stick with flame test. For 30 points, approximately equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. What special number refers to the number of units in one mole of any substance? Yes, Elon. Avogadro's number. That is correct. You've got the board. You'll need a category, though. Let's go with Vice Squad. Vice Squad questions about America's vice presidents. For 10 points, what founding father was the first vice president of the United States? Galen. John Adams. Yes, you've got the board now, South High category. We'll stick with Vice Squad. 15 points. Uh, we can't sell our cars in China today because we don't meet the Chinese environmental standards. What former vice president says this in the 2006 film, An Inconvenient Truth? Yes, Galen. Al Gore. Yes, you've still got the board, South High. We'll stick with Vice Squad. 20 points this time in 1992. What vice president criticized the TV character Murphy Brown for choosing to be a single mother, which he said ran contrary to family values? Yes, Eli. Dan Quayle. That is correct. Newton North, you now have the board category. Let's stick with Vice Squad. 25 points in 1973, less than a year before Nixon's resignation. What vice president resigned in disgrace amid charges of federal income tax evasion? Yes, Max. Spira Agnew. Yes, you've still got the board, Newton North. Um, continue with Vice Squad. 30 points at stake. Who served as Abraham Lincoln's first vice president but was unexpectedly dropped from the 1864 ticket in favor of Andrew Johnson? Hannibal Hamlin, the answer there. Newton North, you'll need a category. Um, let's do flying colors. Flying colors. All answers feature a color. And for 10 points, there's 106 miles to Chicago. We've got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark out, and we're wearing sunglasses. This quote is from what 1980 comedy? Yes, Sam. Blues Brothers. Yes, that is correct. The Blues Brothers, South High. You've got the board category. We'll stick with flying colors. For 15 points, distinctive for its plain sleeve with no graphics or text other than the band's name embossed. What double album by the Beatles opens with Back in the USSR? <laughs> Sam. The White Album. Yes, you've still got the board, South High. Category. We'll stick with flying colors. 20 points. Senator John McCain's recent diagnosis of brain cancer drew renewed attention to what powerful herbicide used by the U.S. military during the Vietnam War? Yes, Rose. Agent Orange. That is correct. Newton North, you get the board back category. Um, let's go to Winter is Coming. Winter is Coming. Questions about winter sports and for 10 points. In the NHL, what infraction occurs when a player shoots the puck across both the center red line and the opposing team's goal line and the puck remains untouched? Eli. Icing. Icing is right. You've got the board category. Let's stick with winter is coming. 15 points. Name the Olympic sport in which players slide stones on a sheet of ice toward a target that looks like a big bullseye. Yes, Rose. Curling. Curling is right. You've still got the board. 
Um, let's go to Captain's Courageous. Captain's Courageous questions about fictional captains. And for 10 points, Johnny Depp sometimes surprises fans by showing up at Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean ride dressed as what character? Yes, Max. Jack Sparrow. Yes, you've still got the board, Newton North. Um, let's stick with Captain's Courageous. 15 points. I came here to hunt whales, not my commander's vengeance. Starbucks says this to what captain in Moby Dick? Max. Captain Ahab. Yes, you've still got the board, Newton North. Let's stick with Captain's Courageous. 20 points. Who was the brilliant but misunderstood captain of the Nautilus, a technologically advanced submarine in 20,000 leagues under the sea? Yes, Galen. Nemo. Nemo is right. You get the board, South High category. We're going to stick with Captain's Courageous. 25 points. Known for his catchphrase, tra-la-la. What dim-witted superhero is the alter ego of Mr. Crump, a mean-spirited school principal in books by Dave Pilkey? Yes, Eli. Captain Underpants. Yes, you've still got the board, Newton North. Let's go back to Winter is Coming. Okay, uh, Winter is Coming, this time for 20 points. Rooted in the skiing traditions of Scandinavia, what winter sport combines cross-country skiing with rifle shooting? Rose. Biathlon. Yes, and you've still got the board, Newton North. Let's stick with Winter is Coming. 25 points. The film Cool Runnings is loosely based on the true story of the first Jamaican team to compete in what winter Olympic sport? Rose. Bobsled. Yes, you've still got the board. Um, let's do Winter is Coming. 30 points. Severe cost overruns. May the 2014 Winter Olympics, the most expensive in Olympics history. They were officially hosted by what Russian city on the Black Sea? Max. Sochi. Yes, you've got the board category. Uh, let's go to Domo Arigato. And this time for 15 points. The crane is one of the best known shapes of what traditional Japanese art of paper folding? Yes, Eli. Origami. Yes, you've still got the board. Uh, let's stick with Domo Arigato. All right, 20 points. Literally meaning tray planting. What six letter word refers to the Japanese art of growing dwarf trees in containers? Yes, Sam. Bonsai. Bonsai is right. South High, you've got the board category. We'll stick with Domo Arigato. 25 points. Western cultures generally recognize four flavors, sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. Asian cultures recognize what fifth flavor that means yummy or savory in Japanese? Yes, Rose. Umami. Yes, and you've got the board, Newton North. Category? Um, let's go to Flying Colors. Flying Colors for 25 points. Born on July 25th, 1978 in Oldham, England, who made history as the world's first test tube baby having been conceived uh, via in vitro fertilization. Yes, Jacob. Brown? Yes, Louise Brown. South High, you've got the board category. Uh, we're going to stick with Flying Colors. Okay, 30 points at stake. Uh, Neil Gaiman's short story, A Study in Emerald, is a shout-out to what novel that marks the first appearance of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson? Yes, Jessica. A Study in Pink. No, Newton North, you want to give it a shot? A Study in Scarlet is the answer. South High, you've still got the board category. Uh, Captain's Courageous for 30. On Star Trek Voyager, actress Kate Mulgrew played what character who was the first lead female captain on a Star Trek series? <laughs> captain Janeway, uh, the answer there. And that is the bell that ends the round. The score right now, Newton North High School, 645 points. South High School, 215 points, everybody. <laughs> Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. Now, you get 20 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost them 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. And uh, here we go. What U.S. Cavalry officer was defeated by Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse at the Battle of Little... Yes. Custer? Yes. Uh, what seven-letter French word refers to a small chemical dropper made of glass and... Yes, Jacob. Pipette? Yes. In 2017, who won a Grammy for Album of the Year for her album? Adele. Uh, yes. In Greek mythology, who was the goddess of wild animals and hunting? Jacob. Artemis? Yes. What is the largest and most notable satellite of Neptune? Jacob. 
Triton? Yes. Who wrote about the dehumanizing effects of industrialization in his 1854 novel, Hard Times? Charles Dickens. In 1971, Bangladesh declared its independence from what country? Jacob? Pakistan? Yes. Uh, the five highest peaks in New England are all located in what U.S. state? New Hampshire. Yes, ancient Egyptians made a type of paper from the reeds of what plant? Jacob. Papyrus. Yes. Uh, in January 2018, what former White House chief strategist left his post? Steve Bannon. Yes. Uh, name the state capital of New Jersey. Yes, Jacob. Trenton. Yes. What is the most abundant element in the Earth's oceans? Eli. Hydrogen. No, oxygen is the answer. Uh, what silent film star was nicknamed the Great Stone Face? For... Yes, Jacob. Chaplin. No, Buster Keaton. Uh, the ancient city of Rome was originally built on how many hills? Oh. Okay, that's the end of the game. The winner this week, Newton North High School with 745 points. South High, the runner-up with 275 points. Yes, let's hear it for both teams. And uh, Newton North now is going to move on to play in the quarterfinals. Be sure to be here. Tune in. We'll see you all back here next week for High School Quiz Show, everybody. There are hundreds of dangerous intersections out there. Fortunately, there are even more independent insurance agents who work with Safety Insurance, helping to ensure you're covered no matter where you drive. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. Production of WGBH.